Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us here on the program. Uh, You may or may not know that one in five Americans suffers from mental illness each and every year. Now, that's a huge number. That's a staggeringly high amount. Now, of those, 60% diagnosed with stress, anxiety, and depression are not going to seek treatment. Well, our guest today is Dr. Monica Roots, Vice President of Health Services and Senior Medical Director of Behavioral Health for Teladoc. And she's here to talk with us about mental health and telemedicine and how the two uh, relate. Welcome to the program, Dr. Roots. Thanks for having me. Now, um, I did say that you are the President of Health Services, Senior Medical Director of Behavioral Health. So uh, you're, a, you're a psychiatric doctor, uh, not, a, not a medical doctor. Is that correct? I am both a psychiatrist and a medical physician, so we complete our training and really focus on the body and the mind. Now, um, Teladoc, what is Teladoc involved in? Teladoc has been around for some time. It actually recently celebrates 15 years uh, in the making, and there are multiple services that are offered, including general medicine, pediatrics, dermatology, behavioral health, and sexual health. So we really are able to offer a wide range of services. Uh, When it comes to to mental health, why wouldn't someone get the help that they need? You know, mental illness is something that many have suffered with for some time, but unfortunately have been unable to access care. Now, access really can be multifactorial as far as barriers. Those include things like stigma. So, for example, if you live in a rural area and you go and you park in front of Dr. Roots' office, you may not walk in because everybody will know in the city that you went to see Dr. Roots for some mental health care. In addition, because there are so few providers nationwide, wait lists continue to go up. In the brick-and-mortar setting, it's not uncommon for someone to wait three to six months to be able to have their first initial visit with a psychiatrist and several weeks to see a psychotherapist. Um, In addition to that, mental health treatment is not a one-time visit. Many times the treatment plan includes weekly visits. And, of course, if you think about our day-to-day activities, which are quite busy, we have many appointments, work obligations, family obligations, to take time out of your busy schedule to go to an appointment weekly, even if you live in an urban area, might be a several-hour process. And many individuals don't have that kind of time. And so those barriers continue to add up and people don't seek care. You've got this distance barrier. You've got this stigma on a person because of their mental condition. How does Teladoc help these people? Teladoc really focuses on convenience, quality care, and access. Not only is it a convenient way of accessing care, so you can use your mobile device, you can use your computer, you can use the telephone, but you can also access care seven days a week throughout the day. So what does that mean? You can access care from your home, from your bedroom, where you may be the most comfortable. In addition, it really kind of overcomes that stigma barrier. Nobody needs to know that you're seeking care. In my experience as a provider on the platform, I've even had individuals who start seeing me in the comfort of their closet because they just don't want anybody to know that they're seeking care. And we eventually are able to focus on delivering care to be able to get them to be able to understand they have a mental illness, that it's okay, and they can have that dialogue with others. In addition to that, instead of waiting weeks to get in, we have the ability to scale. And so we are able to get people in within days to see a mental health provider. What does that mean? It means that they're able to get in when they want to seek care, when they're able to seek care, when they're motivated, and they can get started on that treatment plan to get better as soon as possible. So just like any other injury, if it's acute, and you seek help, the longer out that appointment is, the less acute the pain is and the more chance of you just not fulfilling the appointment in the first place and compounding the problem. Correct. And I really think about mental health is not just about the patient, but it's actually a community issue, really. And so when a person is in, you know, the acute throes of a stressor or anxiety, It's really important for that person to seek care, but sometimes it's also important for those around them, such as a loved one or a family member, to seek care of their own, such as 
therapy to learn coping skills to be able to support that person. So, you know, I frequently ask, who knows someone who has a mental illness? Many people will say, yes, I do. But that means it also affects that person. And they need to be able to have the coping skills to be able to do that. So, of course, Teladoc is able to be a tool to not just the person, but those around them to be able to talk to a therapist, to understand what mental illness is, to be able to have those coping skills to help a person who may be having that stressor. And as you said, the earlier we intervene, the better the outcomes. The more tools that we give, if medications are needed, the sooner we treat, the better the outcome. So there are so many barriers that are uh, broken down. You've got weather factors, as, as we said, distance, transportation, stigma. All of these things are eliminated, allowing for, I guess, a, a better level of care for the patient who is um, driven by anxiety when they have to go out. When it comes to getting the medicines, uh, does this uh, platform also allow for the uh, meds to be delivered discreetly? Correct. So we on the Teladoc platform have several board-certified psychiatrists who have various levels of specialties. Uh, So that includes general psychiatry and other areas of specialty, and they are able to prescribe medications to treat anxiety disorders and mood disorders and other issues. Those prescriptions are prescribed, and they go directly to their pharmacy, and the patient's able to pick that up. So there is no need for them to go to see Um, any in-person provider if we're able to do that in a safe and quality way. Is there any any cost to the patient for uh, using the platform? So Teladoc is a benefit through their employer or their insurance. And so it gives them the ability, such as going to use their benefits, to go and see an in-person provider. This is an additional benefit that they can use if they have it through their employer or their insurer to seek care. Mm. Is there a way that a person can take advantage of Teladoc services without it coming through an employer? So at this time, we don't because correctly, right now we go uh, direct to employer or through their benefits, Mm -hmm. uh, through their insurance, but we continue to evaluate. Is this platform available in all areas as far as uh, connectivity and and things of that nature? Does it work uh, seamlessly with all browsers and all operating systems? It does. It does. And we really focus once again on really that ability to connect to the patient where they're at. Um, And so we're able to use both mobile device and desktop through various browsers for them to be able to seek care. Where can we learn more online about Teladoc? It'd be great if people could go to www.teladoc.com slash therapy and they're able to learn more about Teladoc, our behavioral health services, and be able to understand how it is important to be able to take those steps towards improving and managing their own mental health. Dr. Monica Roots, thank you for coming in. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in and download at SoundCloud, and be sure and visit our affiliates page at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au.